We did 24 hours in New York. How much can you pack into a single day and stay on budget? We drove there and squeezed an epic day in from the iconic sites to great food. How much do you think it costs? Well, we're gonna show you. A couple of months ago, me and my eldest book, not allowed to use the real name, not allowed to show pictures. This is really bothering me. As, you, as you've seen with Suin, she loves the camera. Book is more private. We went to Canada to see Book's mate. We stayed in Niagara. And towards the end of the holiday, I really fancied New York. It had been bugging me all week. I was within spitting distance. I've never been before. Let's do it. So we decided to jump in the car and bag ourselves 24 hours in the Big Apple. We're in America. We're in America. What's it like to be in America, Dad? It's goddamn fine. That was a very poor accent. It was, wasn't it? Now, as you know from my other videos, I'm prone to being a bit stingy. Well, the word is careful, but let's say stingy. We decided we we're going to stay over for one night. So I used my friend Expedia and I found the Super 8 by Wyndham in North Bergen. Why did I pick this particular hotel? It was cheaper. This one cost us 85 plus taxes. I'm going to give all the prices in pounds and then convert to dollars at the end. But it was 85 pounds plus taxes. Well, I picked it because it was only four miles to Times Square. It had a complimentary breakfast. That was basic, guys, but it was food. And there was a shuttle bus available for a small surcharge. When I say shuttle bus, I called it the wacky bus. It's only four miles into the city, and this thing was mainly for transporting what looked like migrant workers and people just going about their business. It looked like it was from the 70s, but it got us there in less than 20 minutes for, I think it was, I'm gonna say $4. It depends where you catch it. So it ticked all my boxes and it had free parking. The hotel itself was a bit basic. We had the cheap room, it had no windows, but what the hell, we were only sleeping there. We were only gonna be there for 24 hours. One of the things we wrestled with on the way down there was where we were gonna get an iconic view. Now, the problem we decided was Empire State Building, you're not going to see it because you're up it. All the others were really expensive and we'd done this at short notice, the booking was not easy. So a bit of research, we happened upon the Roosevelt Island, the Roosevelt Island Tramway, which is basically an overhead cable car that is part of the city's transport system. And this, the transport system's amazing, unless you're staying in New Jersey because there's no, tram, uh, there's no trains go that way, so we had to use the wacky bus, but you already know that. So the, as I said, the Roosevelt Island Tramway goes from Manhattan Island to Roosevelt Island. That's why it's called the Roosevelt Island Tramway. And we happened on the idea of, by discovering it on Google that you get a great view of the Manhattan skyline. Plus, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, Book is neurodiverse and sometimes gets overwhelmed with a city. So we'd arrived early evening, we'd gone to Times Square, and I thought, let's get up in the sky and have a look. And it was stunning. Now, Roosevelt Island's quite quiet, so we had a look round, found ourselves a lovely restaurant called Granny Annie's and had a meal. Now, although I was trying to stick to a budget, it was evening, it was typical New York restaurant and we enjoyed it. That came to £52, including a tip, which I was quite happy with. It was proper decent food. So we sat, we drank, we took in the skyline and we basically went back to the hotel. We'd seen Times Square lit up, we'd done the subway, we'd done the tramway, we'd experienced New York. We needed a good night's sleep, so we're gonna try and cram as much as we could into the first and only full day. As I say, we're only there 24 hours. So we jumped on the crazy bus again for our second trip. I've just checked with Buck, it was actually worked out as three pound. This drops you, it, there's a choice of place where it drops you off, but most people get off at Port Authority. Got there nice and early in the morning after our huge breakfast, it was basically Twinkies and coffee, but it was breakfast and decided right. We've booked one attraction, which we'll get to in a minute. Let's do some walking, let's take in the city. Let's get out the crowd. So we walked to Central Park because I wanted to see the John Lennon Memorial and I wanted to catch a glimpse of the flat where, they, where he lived. I was actually able to speak to the guys. It's actually, it looks like on all the pictures, it's just an apartment. It's actually a gated community. And I, I believe I stood on the spot where John Lennon and was shot. Central Park's amazing though, you see all the people running, cycling through it. It's beautiful 
and it is literally just on the edge of this massive city definitely but we didn't have a lot of time to waste so we then went and stopped at a little new york cafe and had a pastry and a coffee that came in at that came in at 12 pound for the two of us and we watched the world go by through the window typical new york moment is what new yorkers are doing now to talk about our um our main attraction we booked tickets for the moma museum of modern art books and art student now i don't know my art from my elbow however i i have heard of warhol i have heard of um dali and all the other things we see there but on the way there we couldn't help noticing we were walking past the trump tower and we thought wow place is owned by a former president it's actually the time when trump was in court and i found it really funny to see a police car parked outside so i shouted taxi for donald and we gave the man a salute and i thought oh at least half this country voted for this guy however we got a round of applause from an old boy who reckoned he was in school with trump's brother it's new york people tell you tales so the cost for getting into moma is well it's 30 dollars, but i'm going to tell you in pound it's 22 pound for an adult and just over half that for a, for a student. Children under 16 are free, so work it out for you. It cost us £33 to get in, which seems a bit pricey for a museum, considering here in the UK most of them are free, but it is one big mother museum. And, you know, it's on six floors. There's a lovely garden. I'm not being funny. You go into the garden while you're waiting to, to have a look, and there's a statue there by Van... I think it was Van Gogh. Yeah, it was Van Gogh. It was a goat. Amazing place, as I say, I don't know my art from my elbow, but Book thoroughly loved it. We saw some amazing pieces. I did a bit of mucking around at the installation and caught some pictures that I thought were a bit artsy. We were there a good few hours. Now, I say that was the one paid attraction we decided we were definitely doing. And obviously, we'd had a bit of time for souvenir shopping. You can spend as little or as much on that as you can. We found a place doing key rings at, I think it was seven for $10. So we grabbed a load of them for people. I've still got a couple of spare. In fact, if anyone comments and I get more than 20 comments, I will pick a person to get one of my spare key rings, a New York original. Obviously, it was comfortably past lunchtime by then. So we decided to stop at a New York food truck. Book had an amazing Philly cheesesteak and I had a Giros. I think we paid rather a lot for these, but we had a drink as well. It came to £37. However, nothing more New York than stopping at a food truck, passing the time of day with a vendor. Yeah, we probably got hosed. But as I say, I always aim to do these things on a budget, but you live in the moment and we were in a place that's famed for being expensive at the end of a vacation, so we were just having a great time. So we had a bit of a dilemma. There were other things to do, there were things we wanted to see, but we also had to get back to Canada. We tried looking at booking on to go to Ellis Island to go to the Statue of Liberty. We weren't able to get bookings to go up it. So I thought, well, you've got to coordinate being there at a certain time. You're either going to get there early or you're going to get there late. You're going to miss the boat and the tour takes an hour and a half. But that's all we were going to do if we did that. So someone suggested, why don't you hop on the Staten Island Ferry? It's free doesn't take that long you go pretty damn close to the statue you experience something else that's very new york you get off and guess what you get to see the statue again on the way back which is exactly what we did and that was free big up for that but i think the main thing for us was saying we'd seen new york we'd done a few things we'd done a few things differently instead of going up the empire state we did the roosevelt island tramway so once we got off the staten island ferry it was back up to the port authority on the wacky bus to the hotel and it turned out by the time i put my key in the car we had been in new york for 24 hours i think we could have crammed more in bear in mind i'm traveling with a neurodiverse child that gets overwhelmed We'd achieved their goal, we'd achieved my goal of seeing the Statue of Liberty, we'd seen the skyline, we'd experienced New York food, we'd experienced the bustle, we'd sat and relaxed, paid our respects to John Lennon, paid our respects to President, ex-President Trump. You never know, by the, time this is, by the time you're watching this, he might be president again. Who knows? And I'm going to bring up a summary at the end. Right, so hopefully the prices should be up there. The hotel was 85. The bus was 18 total across all the trips. The subways and the Roosevelt Island tramway came in at 16. Dinner was 53 with lunch at 37. Entrance to the MoMA was 34. Now, everything else we did was things we just saw. That came in at, including your hotel, 
£243 for two people to spend 24 hours in New York. It's not bad, you know, I think if you were to go to London, stay one night in a hotel, you could easily smash that. And there is nothing, well, for us coming from the UK, there's nothing more unique than spending a day in New York. And I genuinely think with that budget, if you were there for two or three days, you'd be spending a similar amount. You know, you're only going to do one paid attraction a day. You're going to do a lot of walking, a lot of looking. You probably wouldn't go to a food truck at lunchtime and you probably wouldn't go to the nearest restaurant when you get off a train at night. So, you know, there was plenty of cheap options. We saw places that were doing dollar a slice pizza. That is still a thing. They all had big queues, but there were places that were doing two dollar a slice pizza that didn't have big queues. It's like any city. You can always find somewhere to eat cheap. 7-Eleven, you know, we fell in love with them in Tokyo. But you're talking 120 quid each per day in New York, including accommodation. Now, bear in mind, if you're going for longer, there is some much cheaper accommodation. There's a... Um, in Times Square, there's Gramercy Hotel, which is cross between a hostel and a hotel. You can get nights there from as low as 50, 60. So you can certainly skim that down. But once again, we're proving that you can have a holiday for not a lot of money. And for us, we couldn't not do it, could we? We were a six hour, it was more like seven. Seven hour drive from where we were staying, another stamp in the passport, and a taste of a city that I'm definitely gonna go back to. Thanks again for watching. If you like what we do, say below. If you don't like what we do, say below. Um, if you'd like me to look into anything else, let me know. Do like, subscribe, and comment, and I'm happy with that.